The Fantastic Four have had a rocky time when it comes to live action. From the Roger Corman produced film in 1994 to the recent sloppy mess of Fant Four Stick in 2015. Here are some of io9's choices of who should play the Fantastic Four's big baddie. If the MCU needs the next Thanos type villain in their new phases, they'll need a seriously talented actor, and it needs to be Giancarlo Esposito. Playing the calculated villain in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, Esposito set the standards high for playing a strong antagonist. If you try to interfere, this becomes a much simpler matter. He's always careful of how he represents himself to others and is usually two steps ahead of everyone. I can easily see him stand his ground against the Fantastic Four and more Marvel heroes. Marvel, do the right thing and cast him already. We need someone who can handle a presence, someone who can really inhabit that masked villain thing and really bring a big energy to the role. And one by one, we start eating each other until there are only two left. To survive us. Even without being seen. I'd like to see Javier Bardem as Doom. There's something incredibly charismatic about Bardem, and his villains are constantly S-tier baddies. He's got the physicality needed for a role like this, and I think that he'd make a compelling and strangely alluring Doom. A Victor you'd want to get a drink with. Like a Victor you'd defect for. That's what I want. Must you try to I've gotta go with Daniel Craig. We've already heard him behind a helmet in The Force Awakens, so we know he can bring a solid performance behind a mask. And he just got done with his Bond era. He may want to ease into a new franchise, and what a perfect role to see him turn heel in. Marvel has a growing list of heroes turned villains like Christian Bale, Ethan Hawke, and Michael Keaton. Plus, his partner Rachel Weisz is in the Marvel family now too. His doom would be a fantastic draw and a natural choice. Doom needs a big presence, but he also needs to have a camp theatricality to him, as much as a sinister aura. He has to be scary, but also kind of fun too, which is why I think Jason Isaacs would have a fantastic time, sorry, in the role. His turn as Star Trek Discovery's Captain Lorca managed to balance the line between horrifying and fun, and he's had some great comical turns over the years. He'd have a ball taking on the kind of scenery-chewing villainy that Doom is absolutely at his best doing. The same people had a way to find each other. The strongest argument I've ever seen for the existence of destiny. io9 also has picks for who should play Wolverine and Ghost Rider in the MCU. Check out those videos here, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.